with you on embracing his word. So I have a very important topic today. The topic is chief characteristics of familiar spirits. And so today, this is a very important topic. I want you to be able to recognize that familiar spirits operate not in the not only in the occulted but it operates within the family bloodline so we will uh, touch on those uh, particular areas the family bloodline and how familiar spirits also work in the occult So we're talking about chief characteristics of a familiar spirit and the uh, familiarity uh, you want to look at the bloodline of a of a family for example a grandmother that may have passed away and that uh, spirit of uh, familiarity that familiar spirit that was in grandma's life uh, no longer can abide in grandma's grandma's life because she's dead and passed on. So what evil spirits, they love to inhabit a live body. So they normally stay within the family bloodline because they're very familiar with your weaknesses and also with your strengths. And the, their main goal is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So if you find that you are constantly not able to progress in life, definitely you want to get before God and ask the Lord about this familiar spirit of anti-progress, uh, anti-blessings um, in your life. You want to get before the Lord and just Pray, and you definitely need to be proactive concerning uh, familiar spirits and your bloodline because oftentimes these spirits will present themselves as a loved one and you may someone may say I saw my grandmother in the house the other day definitely understand this is not a loved one appearing to you but definitely this is an evil spirit manifesting so that they can continue on the weaknesses that maybe your grandmother had if your grandmother was an alcoholic if your grandmother whatever it was the type of weaknesses that she had that spirit wants to continue those dysfunctions in the bloodline of the family and also uh, familiar spirits can operate and uh, with people that you associate with so understand that when you're interacting with other people, you're definitely interacting with their spirit and whatever evil spirits they have in their life, that those evil spirits, their goal is to monitor you, to monitor what that person is doing so that they can create and cause defeat in a person's life. Also, these spirits can transfer. When a loved one passes away, for example, a mother, a dad, or even a grandmother, anyone in the family that passes away, that spirit, what it does, because it do doesn't want to stay in a dead body, it wants to be and inhabit a live body, it will definitely look for someone in the family line that it can invade and continue the, the dysfunction of that person or cause um, anti-progress in a person's life, uh, cause poverty, cause lack, uh, cause sickness and affliction in the body because definitely familiar spirits are connected with generational curses. So those spirits can continue with uh, various sicknesses and diseases in the body such as if a family member uh, or several family members have cancer, that spirit can transfer at the death of a loved one. And next thing you know, uh, someone in the family line has that same disease. So that is definitely a familiar spirit that's connected with a generational curse. So if you see repeat patterns of sickness in your family, 
uh, diseases within your family, repeat patterns of adultery, repeat patterns of dysfunctional family life. That is definitely a familiar spirit at work in the family. And you want to be very proactive because God, as believers, God has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. So we definitely have to take up the sword of the spirit and be proactive against the work of familiar spirits. Also, I want to talk about um, oftentimes people go through uh, seasonal uh, problems. For example, uh, I had a I have a loved one that every um, season around Christmas time, the month of December, this particular person will experience deep depression, um, uh, deep sadness. That was a result of something that she did in her life, but she did repent of it. But um, this um, particular season of her life, every December, this spirit will come around. And and a, a time that I was ministering to this person, the Lord showed me that it was a spirit of grief. Now, this spirit of grief uh, was definitely connected to the, fam the familiarity of this uh, person. And so it could also be a familiar spirit because it attacks at various seasons. So it comes back around because they are familiar with what happened. So you have to take authority over those types of spirits. So when I confronted that spirit of grief, it manifested and thank God we cast it out. And so I want you to see and understand that you don't have to allow the enemy to afflict you with depression. You don't have to allow the enemy to afflict you with all kinds of uh, dysfunction in your life. Now, when you think of familiar spirits, think of counterfeit spirit because the enemy loves to try to copy what God does. And so, especially if a person is involved in the occult, um, they are seeing psychic readers or they are practicing being a psychic, they, uh, they are tarot card readers, uh, mediums, necromancers, people that are involved in witchcraft. These are big areas that the enemy uh, shows and manifests, manifests himself as a familiar spirit. And what a familiar spirit does, they definitely, for example, when a person goes to a psychic reader or a fortune teller, those familiar spirits, you have already opened the door to the familiar spirit by just uh, going to see a fortune teller or a psychic reader. You have already opened the door. That is a major sin against God, abomination against God. So these familiar spirits, they're already familiar with your weaknesses. And so when you go to see the psychic readers, these demonic uh, familiar spirits definitely already know about your background. And so when the psychic readers uh, connect with that familiar spirit that is within you, they already know some of the things that's been going on in your life. For example, they may have information about your mother, your grandmother, or your husband. And so they're, they're definitely able to reveal these things, but it is definitely coming from a demonic source. And so if you're uh, going to psychic readers, tarot card readers, this is definitely an abomination in the eyes of God. So people also involved in witchcraft would send spirits to, to monitor other people for the purpose of their own destruction, the purpose of destruction in that person's life. So these are definitely the work of evil, familiar spirits. They may tell you something that's soothing and comforting, uh, very informative, something that you, you think that person would never know. But understand this, it comes from an evil, devilish source that is the devil. And so when you get information from the enemy, God is not pleased.
Another thing that I I understand about uh, familiar spirits is that they have personalities. For example, um, they express themselves uh, through anger, through greed, rage, jealousy, uh, quarrelsome. So if you can think of someone that's in your life uh, and they manifest uh, a rage or anger and if you just examine have that person to examine their background where did the anger start was it someone in the family bloodline more than likely it was someone in the bloodline that passed this spirit on to this person or that that person opened the door to the spirit of anger and so it is considered a familiar spirit that comes to operate uh, the dysfunction, the sin of anger, uh, grief can be a familiar spirit because uh, there has been sin uh, connected with it, rage, jealousy, quarrelsome, sadness, and uh, religious activities, legalistic, being double-minded, rebellious, uh, being a provocative dresser, lying, a deceiver so these are all personalities that's definitely connected with familiar spirits also a familiar spirit masquerades as someone that you are familiar with just as I used the example someone appearing in your bedroom as your grandmother or someone that passed away that is definitely a familiar spirit So let's look at what do the Bible say about familiar spirits. The scripture in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31 it says, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek out the wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Now this is a very powerful word. God right here is giving us a warning in his word not to regard those that have familiar spirit don't have anything to do with people that are involved with familiar spirits such as psychic readers tarot card readers neither seek out the wizards those that's involved in witchcraft why would you go to these type of people to get information about what you want about your life instead of seeking god so it's very important that we don't open the door to seeking these type of people or this type of information. But God, if he is your God, he is the one that you should be going to. He is the one that you should be seeking for revelation and understanding concerning your life, seeking direction for your life, not seeking out familiar spirits. Now Isaiah chapter 8 verse 19 says, And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? So why would you go to someone, for example, a necromancer or a medium that's seeking the dead? are trying to con uh, connect with a dead loved one so do you think that the dead loved one can give past information back to you absolutely not because the scripture says when a person is dead they know it nothing they're dead and so if you're connected with mediums necromancers psychic people you're definitely connecting with evil spirits that has uh, information that they are familiar with your loved one. Don't take the bait that they have uh, information because what they're doing is, is throwing in a fish line to hook you with all kinds of deception. And so, and you will eventually find out that your life is going down here, down here after consulting with these type of people. This is very dangerous to open the door to uh, seeking fortune tellers, uh, 
hotlines, uh, psychic hotlines. That, that is a very dangerous area to go into. I once prayed for a loved one that went to see um, a fortune teller. Now, definitely, uh, this was this is a very uh, very dangerous avenue because it can lead to uh, insanity. People that often get involved with the occult, it can, especially a Christian believer, it can open the door to insanity. It can open the door to mental illness. It can open the door to uh, early premature death. And so make sure that you are not involving yourself and these types of things, especially if you are professing to know God as your Lord and as your Savior. So now we're talking about uh, fortune tellers, uh, spiritism, spiritism, false prophets, false preachers, and necromancers, witchcraft, false religions, I say be warned, not everyone who knows things about you is of the Lord. There are some who intentionally connect with familiar spirits and some who are unaware that they are being used by familiar spirits. I can tell you definitely I've encountered some preachers that profess to be prophets, that profess to be godly uh, preachers and a warning bell was just going off in my heart and so uh, there was one that I encountered a few years ago, a couple of years ago over in another country uh, and God had already shown me that this particular person more than likely is a false prophet and so I, I kind of had a bad experience while I was there and so what I did, I when I got back home, I prayed and, and I renounced every everything that I may have done wrong, even just going to that particular church. And I'm thankful that God hear, heard my prayers and blessed me and delivered me. And I'm thankful because I just want to give you a heads up. There are many false prophets. There are many false preachers that are proclaiming to know God but they are not of God. And one of the signs that God will give you is uh, the uh, permit to happen is that you will start having some unpleasant experiences and you will know without a shadow of doubt that that person is a false prophet. So be warned, be careful, be prayerful. Only interact with people that you know they are truly of God. So my final uh, slide is on the dangers of involvement with familiar spirits. Isaiah 8, 19 says, Should the living seek unto go to the dead? Absolutely not. Should the living. Why would you as a believer in Christ go to someone with familiar spirits to, to gain information? And so right there it says if... if a Christian or a believer is doing this, they're definitely already under some form of deception by the enemy. So 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 13 says, So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. So this right here, you see, this was a, a deadly decision that Saul decided to go and seek out someone with a familiar spirit. This was no light sin, but this was a deadly sin that Saul committed and he lost his life prematurely. And so right here, I want to share the warning with you. You're professing to know Christ. Do not go to people that are seeking uh, to go to the dead for information. Now I once had a, I had a friend that passed away a couple months ago. One of the things that I pondered in my heart was whether or not she was really committed 
with Christ. She professed uh, to be a very strong um, woman of God. But yet I, I knew in my heart um, that she was going back and forth uh, dabbling in the occult with divination and so she had contacted uh, cancer some years ago I don't know what was the root cause or the root reason why um, I know from understanding that she refused medical help in the beginning and so the cancer advanced in her life but then also saw that God moved in her life and started healing her life. She was, she was on the way to being completely healed. And within that um, a month or so of her, I would say after several months of being uh, experiencing quite a bit of healing, she got in touch with someone um, that was involved in witchcraft and so i heard some of the stories that she shared with my husband and i and definitely the woman that she was connected with was involved with witchcraft and so the woman lived in her home for a period of time and so eventually she kicked the woman out of her house and so i'm feeling in my heart that this woman tried uh, retaliated against her um to bring death, premature death upon her life. And so I want you to understand it's not good to go back and forth uh, with, um, with the Lord. Either you're gonna serve the Lord or you're gonna serve the devil. Which one? You must choose. And so be wise, make wise decisions about your life and God will bless you with a long satisfying life honor God love him with all your heart your soul with all your strength with all your mind everything that's within you honor and love the Lord reverence and respect him don't think you can go back and forth and practice divination or practice something in the occult because God definitely um, will allow a punishment or penalty to, to come upon your life so I want you to be clear about that and I want you to be proactive about taking authority over familiar spirits that has been operating in your bloodline uh, any sin in your life you want to go before God in repentance and brokenness and contriteness really seeking God out to deliver you from familiar spirits and the bloodline or any type of familiar spirit from the occult that's been working against you you have the power and you have the authority to take a stand in the powerful name of Jesus. So let me say a prayer for you and be blessed. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. I thank you for your mercies and your grace. Father, I thank you for every viewer that has been listening on, under my voice. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking through me. I pray for every viewer that you will touch them. You will open their spiritual eyes. You will grant them uh, understanding and insight to the things that she, they are going through and experiencing any anything in their life Lord especially defeat where the enemy has uh, blocked their progress in life Lord I come against those demonic assignments I command the enemy to loose its hold off their life in the name of Jesus Father I ask that you forgive them of their sins extend great mercy and grace to them Lord let this day be a new day a new beginning Lord, that's the seasonal uh, familiar spirit. We bind that spirit. We break it off from their lives. Lord, thank you that you forgive them of their sins. And Lord, this is a new beginning. No seasonal familiar spirits will be able to operate. I pray in the powerful name of Jesus. So I want you to be blessed and continue to listen. I do have one more uh, video in reference to fam familiar spirits. So continue to listen and be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video. If you're on my Facebook page, I uh, want you to like or follow the Facebook page so you can get new content. Uh, don't forget to share the video. Be blessed and have a wonderful day.